This is a CBS News special report on the California primary. Here is Walter Cronkite. Good evening. The polls have just closed in California's presidential primary, and especially show you our new home, and we're pretty proud of it. Here are headlines of the world. Here's the 11 p.m. report, the latest report of the day's news, weather, and sports, with Don Richards, John Douglas, and Dan Zeng. Very pleasant good evening to you all. Don Richards reporting, and here's the news tonight. From Michigan's number one news station, this is Channel 7, 6 o'clock Action News, with Rich Fisher, Mary Conway, in for Doris Bisco, and Detroit's first news team. Once again, good evening, everyone. Our top story tonight at 6... Ladies and gentlemen, a good evening to you. This is John Cameron Swayze reporting the news for the biggest car of the low-priced three, Plymouth. Plymouth, the car that's making news, presents the Plymouth News Caravan. The excitement, the drama of today's news today. Produced for Plymouth by NBC. Messages of condolence have been flooding into Princeton, New Jersey since early this morning when the death of Albert Einstein was announced to the world. Olds brings the news. Your local Oldsmobile dealer, the dealer who brings you famous rocket engine Oldsmobiles, presents an up-to-the-minute account of today's headline news, reported by television's foremost news commentator, Douglas Edwards. And a very good evening, everybody, coast to coast. Tonight, a swelling protest on the handling of the Koji prison incident and uh, two generals on a higher-ranking carpet. For watching WCCO Television, Minneapolis, St. Paul. This is the 10 p.m. report. Good evening, everyone. AIDS in Minnesota schools. Even before the disease is detected, Minnesota health officials have stepped in to deal with the illness and the fear. You are watching WCCO Television, Minneapolis, St. Paul. This is the 6 p.m. report. Good evening, everyone. For two years, pickets have been put... This is the Channel 2 Sunday Night News with Colleen Williams, David Garcia, and Cliff Morrison with weather. Good evening and welcome to the Channel 2 News. And topping our news, there's a storm of controversy tonight over a startling report. This is Channel 4, WSMV, Nashville. From Channel 4 News, this is the scene at 10 with Dan Miller, Bill Hall, and Charlie McAlexander. Good evening. Thousands of additional students will be bused to school in Nashville as a result of a decision of the United States Supreme Court today. The stories and a lot more coming up next on this Eyewitness News special report. This is this news special, the Kalinga Quake. Now, live from the Eyewitness News studio, Dave McElhatton and David Jackson. And from the Eyewitness Newsroom, Wendy Takuda. This is the story of the Kalinga Quake. This just happened automatically. There was no... The award-winning 10 o'clock news with Nathan Roberts, Ann Kessner, Chuck Walsh, and Lynn Shackelford with sports. Good evening. President Carter won a major victory tonight. The Senate... We interrupt this program to bring you further details on the shooting of President Kennedy. After the shots were fired and the president was seen to slump over and Governor Connolly was hit, the motorcade sped on toward the hospital. It took them... This is a WNFT news break with Bill Carter. Good evening, everyone. Topping our news this hour, the Jacksonville City Council has decided to delay action on a plan to revamp... The Week in Space. CBS News' selective coverage of the mission of Gemini 9. 
Now the docking in space of Gemini 9 and its target vehicle. Reporting from the CBS News Space Center at the McDonnell Aircraft Plant in St. Louis, correspondent Walter Cronkite. Everything is going very well with Gemini 9. This is Channel 12, serving Northwest Washington and British Columbia. The Operators, an expose of the door-to-door -door rackets. This is the story for the third in the Channel 12 series, Jack Webster Reports. Tonight, CKNW's controversial reporter and analyst demonstrates to you how it's done by those out to bilk the public as he probes the operators. Now, here is Jack Webster. Good evening. I sometimes think it will be more pleasant. This is NBC Nightly News, Wednesday, April 30th, with John Chancellor reporting from the NBC News Center in New York and David Brinkley's Journal from Washington. Good evening. The city of Saigon was renamed to... This is NBC Nightly News, Friday, January 16th, with John Chancellor. This is the Channel 2 Weekend News with Ken Jones and Roy Firestone with sports. Good evening, everyone. Here's what's going on at 11 o'clock. The Republican Party is reeling tonight after... Jim Brosmer. Pam Salsby. Bill Van Dusen's weather. And Hank Goldberg with sports. This is News 4. Good evening. Tonight, presidential hopeful Jesse Jackson is in Panama on the first leg of a five-day visit to Latin America. Good morning, everyone. This is Connie Schottmeyer with Channel 3 News. You know what day this is, don't you? It's the day that you move your clock ahead. Absolutely. You really should have done that already were to do that at two o'clock so lord only knows what time it really is right now but whatever time it was yesterday add an extra hour to that because this was the day are you confused i am too so here's some news the time now exactly 19 minutes past the hour the soyuz is down the two cosmonauts are out the soviet win a fortune on wheel of fortune beginning monday july 9th Simmons, Anna Asqui, Bob Weaver's weather, and Tony Segreto with sports. This is News 4. Good evening. There's been a tremendous change in the story of Jesse Jackson's trip to Cuba. This is Channel 2 News at 5 with Larry Carroll and Linda Alvarez. Pues buenas tardes, enseguida si usted suele mandar regalos de Navidad a Latinoamérica o México, les diremos por qué tiene que tener mucho cuidado para asegurar que estos lleguen. Además, les tenemos nuevos detalles sobre el tiroteo en un bar este pasado domingo. Y también nuestra ciudad recuerda el aniversario del bombardeo en Pearl Harbor. Todo esto y más en Noticias 15, más noticias, más información. Acompáñenos. Rueda de prensa para discutir más a fondo el tiroteo. You're watching UPN 47 News at 6:30 with Russell Motley, Paige Kelton, and Herb Anderson with weather live from WTEB Jacksonville. This is UPN 47 News at 6:30. Now, because of all the smoke in the air, the American Lung Association from WJXT News Channel 4, Tom Wills. Deborah Giannolis, Chief Meteorologist George Wenteling, and Sam Kovaris with sports. This is Eyewitness News. Smoke rises from yet another wildfire. The frightening picture is another reminder of this area.